Okay then, so we set up all of this Firebase stuff in the last video so that now we can communicate from the front end inside this application to the back end inside our Firebase console over here, right? So we can start to do things like sign users up to this project. So that's what I'd like to do in this video. I'd like to show you how to create a new user, how to sign them up. Now to do that from the front end, what a user is gonna do is click on this sign up link right here. It's gonna open up this modal. They need to type in an email address, choose a password, then click this button. So then when a user clicks this button, we need to be listening for that event. We need to attach a listener to that and then grab these two values right here that they type in. Then we use those two values to sign the user up with the Firebase SDK, okay? So first of all, let's attach a listener to this. So head on over to the auth.js. This is where we're gonna do all the authentication JavaScript. I'm gonna do a little comment which says sign up. And the first thing I'm gonna do is get a reference to the actual sign up form in the DOM. Now, if we scroll up a little bit and look for this, we should see that it has an ID right here of modal sign up and also this form this has an id of sign up form so we'll use this id to go in reach in grab that form and get a reference to it so we'll store this in a constant const sign up form and set that equal to documents dot query selector this is how we query elements from the dom right we use the query selector method and then inside that we can add in hash sign up hyphen form so we're getting a reference to that now and storing it in this constant called sign up form now we need to add an event listener to this form and that event listener is not going to be a button click although we could do if we click this button but it's going to be a form submit the event is called submit so when a user submit this form and that automatically happens when a user clicks the button or clicks enter after they've filled in all the fields so let's add that event listener so sign up for dot add event listener and then the event is going to be the submit event then we have a callback function i'm going to use an arrow function so brackets we take in the event object by default then an arrow then open your curly braces okay so inside this function what do we want to do well first of all we want to prevent the default action of a form being submitted because by default the page will refresh and i'll show you that if we go over here and click sign up I add anything over here and something down here if I click on sign up automatically it's going to refresh the page we lose that mode we don't want that to happen so we need to prevent that default action and the way we do that is by taking this event object which is automatically passed into the callback function and using a method called prevent default like so okay so we prevent that default action and now if we view this sign up and enter in anything again and down here entering something sign up now it doesn't refresh the page so that's good the next thing we want to do is get the user info what are the values that they've typed into the input fields the email and the password so let's store these in constants so first of all a little comment get user info and then const email is going to be equal to the sign up form which is the reference right here to the form and the way we can access these different fields right here these input fields is by using square bracket notation so we can say something like this sign up form then in brackets we need to pass in the string which is the id of the input field we want now those things are sign up email and also sign up password we'll do them one at a time so we can say right here sign up email like so so what this does using these square brackets is say, okay, look in the sign up form, which we have a reference to, look in that form and find an input with the ID of sign up email. And it returns that to us. So now that's stored inside this constant over here, right? We want the value from that input field. So we use the value property, oops, to get that, okay? So now we have that value stored in email. Let's do the same thing for password. So const password is gonna be equal to sign up form then in square brackets the name of the field oops do this correctly the name of the field which is sign up hyphen password and we want the value of that as well so value like so okay so now we have that let's just try logging it to the console console.log and we'll do email and password so we're logging both of those to the console just to see if this works so over here we'll open up the console and go to 
sign up we need to make this a bit bigger so we can see this like so sign up and if i type in sean at netninja.co.uk and test one two three four if i sign up now hopefully we should see this logged to the console sean at the net ninja and test one two three four okay so now we have those values it's not actually doing anything with the values yet but at least we have them and now we have them we want to use them to sign up this user as a user using firebase so the way we do that is by using a method provided to us called create user with email and password so a little comment again saying sign up the user now we have the details and let's spell this correctly we use a method like we said on the auth object now remember in the HTML file down here at the bottom where we set up Firebase, we say const auth is equal to firebase.auth. So this is setting up a reference to the auth service for us and any kind of authentication methods or properties we access from this auth constant. Now we can use it because this was declared before this script right here. So inside this script, we can use the auth constant and that's what we're doing. And we're using a method on this auth constant called create user with email and password. Now, I normally make a mistake when I'm writing this because it's such a long method, but that looks pretty okay to me. Okay, so this method right here, it takes in two parameters. The email we want to sign up with, which I'm just gonna reference as email because we've stored it already in that constant, and then the password, which is this thing right here, password. So let's copy and paste that as well. Okay, so now we're passing those two parameters through into this method. That is then going to go out and communicate with our Firebase project on the back end, and it's going to sign this user up. It's going to create then a user account. Now then, this thing right here, this is an asynchronous task. And by that, I mean, it takes some time to complete, okay? It might only be half a second. It might be, you know, a quarter of a second. I don't know. It might be 10 milliseconds, but it's going to take some time to complete. So we can't just write something down here and expect it to run sequentially we have to wait for this to finish and then carry on with our code so because this is asynchronous and it does take some time to complete it returns to us a promise and a promise basically says okay at some point this is going to be completed and we can tack on a dot then method to that promise and this then method is going to fire a callback function when this task is complete right here and this callback function takes in the response from this task and the response in this case is going to be a user credential so we can take in that credential into an arrow function like this and this function is going to fire when this sign up is complete okay cool so first of all let's just log this credential to the console and see what it looks like console.log cred so this is essentially a user credential token okay so let's sign up again i'm going to say sean uh, the net ninja.co.uk the password is going to be test one two three four and sign up and by the way if you're signing up it has to be at least something like six characters long this password otherwise it won't work anyway sign up and now you can see this credential token is logged to the console right here now we have some information about how this token was created uh, the provider id we're using email and password is new user true etc but we also have this thing right here this user object and this contains a lot of information that we have access to now about the user including their email right here a display name if they have one and other things as well so now we can access that and do some stuff with it and we're going to do all of that stuff later on but for now we've logged this user in or rather we've signed this user up to our application and when a user is signed up using this method and we get this credential back this object then automatically they are logged into our application right we have that token now on the front end that says they're logged in now if we go to the back end to our firebase console and go to authentication we can now see that user right here when they were created when they signed in and their unique user uid so when we create a new user when we sign a new user up using that method firebase auto generates this unique user id and we're going to use this id later on okay anyway for now we've signed up we can access the user using cred.user like so and get user information from that user so again let's just do this we can see 
when we sign up, and I'm going to sign up with a different person now, Yoshi at the net ninja.co.uk and test one, two, three, four. When they sign up, we get that user now back right here and we can see all of that information. So this is cred.user, okay? All right then, so that's the user signed up. What do we want to do after the user has signed up? Well, ideally we want to clear this form and we also want to close the modal. So how are we gonna do that? Well, first of all, let's do a little comment right here. I'm gonna say const modal is gonna be equal to documents dot query select all and then inside we want to get the modal sign up so the actual modal that's popped up now if we scroll up and find the create or rather sign up modal you can see it's this one right here so we need to get a reference to that so it's hash and it's modal hyphen sign up now we have that reference we're going to use the materialize library to get that instance and close it okay so we'll say m dot modal this is materialized dot get instance because we're going to get the instance which is this thing right here so we pass in that modal oops we don't want all this stuff it's just m and we pass the modal in here like so okay so now we have that instance we can use a method called close to close that modal so now after we've created this new user we get the response then we're getting the modal that's open and then we're closing it we also want to reset the form so we'll say sign up form which is the initial form reference we got right here then we're going to use a method called reset which is just a normal javascript method oops dot reset like so and that clears out the form fields okay so then if we save that i'm going to do one more sign up process so let's close that sign up and this time we'll do mario at the net ninja.co.uk test one two three four sign up we should get this back over here and everything else closes if we open this up again you can see the form has been reset as well okay so now we should see three users over here if we refresh the page and we do now just to keep things clean i'm going to delete a couple of these because i don't want to get overrun with different users as we go through the app so i'm going to try and keep on top of this as we go along i'll just keep the bottom one mario at the net ninja in case we need to log in with anything in the next few videos but there we go my friends that's how we take a user from a form take their credentials and that's how we sign them up using this method on the auth object create user with email and password